Hi family, welcome back into our channel. So many people, family, criticize you for being, wanting to be understood. You've been misunderstood your whole life. So let's just dive right into this video. You have been misunderstood your whole life. But people call you defensive. People tell you all the time that you have your, your wall up. You, you, you're too defensive and you need to let your wall down. No, you're not defensive. You're trying to tell people all the time, but they don't hear you. They hear you and they don't hear you. All you wanted was an understanding. All you wanted from so many people is for people to get you. All you wanted from people is to understand who you were and who you are. But these people weren't called to you. They can't understand you. You do not have the same spirit. You don't have the same light mindset. And they couldn't control your family. They couldn't manipulate you into being the person that they wanted you to be. So people knew you really weren't defensive with them. People really, really and honestly and truthfully, they knew that. They knew all you wanted was to be understood. All you wanted was an understanding. And people wanted to make you feel like you were crazy. They wanted you to believe something was wrong with you. All you wanted was answers. All you were given was an explanation. This was all you were giving, trying to get an understanding with people. All you were trying to do is to help people to understand you a little bit better. But these people weren't called to you, family. This is why people played such a tug, and, tug of war with you. They wanted you to believe you were crazy. They wanted you to believe that something was wrong with you. Nothing was wrong with you. They wanted to break you down mentally. They wanted to break you down psychologically. A lot of people wanted to break you down spiritually. They wanted to break you down emotionally because a lot of people wanted some finances from you, family of God, and that was the only way that they can get it from you. A lot of people wanted things from you, family, that they knew you weren't willing to give them. So they wanted you to believe that something was wrong with you. Some people really got you. Listen to me, family. Some people really got the person who you are. They really did get you, but they wanted you to believe that they didn't get you because they had bad intentions for you. You're not defensive. You're not a defensive person. You're not always on guard. You don't always have a wall up. You don't. You don't have that Jericho wall around you. It's not that. You wanted people to understand you and they didn't understand you. Some people pretended not to understand you, family, because of what their motive was for you. They got you. They understood you better than what you thought they did. You had a lot of sleepless nights behind it. It made you question who you were, didn't it? That's what they intended to do. They wanted you to question who you were. They wanted you to believe, family of God, that you were incapable. These people wanted you to believe that you were so low. They wanted you to disbelieve in the power that you held on the inside. They took you all around that mountain over and over and over again. They did that on purpose. They did it on purpose to make you believe something was wrong with you. They wanted you to believe you were so defensive that you was always angry and you were always upset and you, you always had an attitude and no. You wanted an understanding. You were trying to get an understanding with a person who really wasn't interested in letting you know that they really understood what you wanted. You were trying to plead your case to a lot of people. You weren't trying to justify anything. You were literally trying to plead your case. You were literally trying to let people know what you were about. You were literally and honestly trying to let people know what you brought to the table. They made it difficult for you to even express how you feel. Being criticized and made to feel bad for how somebody makes you feel. They do it to make control over you. They do it, family of God, to control your whole life. They wanted you to believe 
that something was wrong with you. Because a narcissistic person or a person who has narcissistic tendencies, oh, they're intimidated when you challenge them. You challenged a lot of people whenever you brought into question some things. You wanted an understanding. You didn't like drama. You didn't like chaos. You wanted an understanding. And they weren't interested in giving you an understanding. They weren't. They were there to complicate your life. This is how you know when people are there to complicate your life. This is how you know when people are not there to bring you peace. This is how you know when you don't have that authentic person in your circle, in your environment, family. This is how you know. Because every time you open up your mouth to try to gain an understanding, to try to make the peace, you did everything you could to make the peace. You did everything you could to bring about a good resolution. But they always told you, you're difficult. You're too difficult. But you weren't difficult. You were not. You wanted an understanding and they weren't willing to give you one. They were not willing to give you what you wanted. They weren't willing to give you what you needed. They weren't. It was because of the motive that people were there is why people were in your life. As a chosen person, you will be misunderstood. You will. As God's kids, as God's remnant, you're gonna be misunderstood. And I want you to be okay with being misunderstood. That's not a bad thing. That means you haven't found your proper people. You haven't found the proper people. You haven't. So keep going. Because this is how God is going to lead you to your kingdom people. This is how God is going to lead you to the place where you are supposed to be. You're going to encounter so many different people on your journey. You're going to encounter so many different things on your journey. But that's what it is. It's all a journey to get you to the destination place. So thank God for the people that you have encountered in life up to this far. You know why? Because a lot of people that you have encountered, and I can bear witness from my own life, I am so grateful to God that I don't have a heart like some people. You got to be grateful that you don't have a heart like some people. Thank God that you don't have a cold heart like some people, that you're not callous like some people, that you're not ungrateful like some people are. You're not trying to put stumbling blocks in people's way and lay your head on a pillow at night and go to bed. Thank God you're not that kind of person. So many people have taught you in life that they are not the person that you ever want to be. You don't ever want to be like the people that treated you so poorly. We learn so many lessons from people. We do, we learn a lot of lessons about people with the things that we go through with. And we learn so much about us through other people. We do, life is a mirror. The word of God is a mirror. People are a mirror, did you know that? And sometimes they reflect our brokenness. This is why sometimes you draw people to you because God has placed you in the lives of some people to help along their journey. Some people you may be trying to make a permanent part of your life and God said, no, they're not a permanent part of your life. They're just temporary. They're making a stop. They're not unpacking. They're not gonna reside with you. They're there for a pit stop. That's it. They're passing through. Some people actually pass through your life. And, you, and the longer you try to hold on to these people, the more hell you're going to go through it in your life. The more problems that you're going to face in your life. The more dilemmas that you're going to face in your life. You are not a difficult person. Doesn't matter what people try to make you out to be. You're not difficult. You wanted an understanding. And a lot of people knew you wanted that understanding with them. But they wanted you, family, to think you were crazy. They wanted to run you crazy. And you know, if you had to stay in some of these situations, that was the devil's will for your life to take your mind. 
Let me tell you something. A child of God has no business losing their mind. Mm -mm. If you are a born again believer, we have, this is my personal opinion. And if you're disrespectful in our comments, you're going to be blocked and deleted. We don't even, we don't even confront negativity. We value all your opinion, but it's my personal opinion that a born again, blood bought believer filled with the Holy Spirit of the Lord has no business losing their mind. It is something wrong, family of God. The devil wanted you to lose your mind. This is why the devil applies pressure. He applies pressure to your mind. Why does he apply pressure to your mind? Because this is the engine of your life. This is what God tells us to use to change our environment. The mind is what we use to change the atmosphere. And by speaking it, you wanted an understanding and they didn't give it to you. They knew you wanted it. They wanted you to stay in question of who you are. They wanted you to question everything about you. Well, maybe something is wrong with me. Well, maybe this person is right. Well, maybe I did say that the wrong way. Well, let me call these people and apologize. No, family. You have the Holy Spirit. When the Holy Spirit convicts you, you do what you're supposed to do. You're not a difficult person like so many people said that you were. You don't have a wall up. You don't. You were trying your best to help people to understand who you were. You were so giving. You were so dutiful. You were so helpful. You were so kind. You were so giving. And you were so nurturing. And they knew all of this. See, this is the bad part about some people. They knew all of this, family. They knew you meant well. They did. But they came in your life from the devil. The devil sent people in your life, family, to beat you down. Because there's a call of God on your life. You have a great destiny. You do. You have a kingdom assignment. And I know you may be heavy laden in your spirit. You may be tired. You may be weary. But God will never put more on you than you can bear. Whenever you really can't take it, God is going to lift that load off of you. He's going to lift it. He's your burden bearer. I love you here, family. We're praying for you. The people that are called to you, they're going to get you. The people who are called to your life, they're not going to misunderstand you. They're not because you're going to have the same like mind because you have the same spirit. You have the same spirit that God has, and it on, it's on the inside of you. You got to be careful of distractions. When you get closer to your breakthrough, the enemy is going to come with so many distractions in your life because you've gotten too close. The enemy knew you were close. This is why he sent some people in your life. And this is why he allowed people to return. You, you monitor your own life. You observe your own life. And you're going to find this out. As close as you get to being blessed in whatever area that you're asking God to bless you, as close as you get to that place, the enemy is going to come. He's going to always tempt you. God tests us. God never tempts his children. The enemy tempts us, but God tests. The enemy is going to tempt you, family, because he wants you to turn back. He wants you to go back and make a bad decision. He wants you to go back to that place where God delivered you from. He wants you to go back there so he can finish you off. He wants you to go back to those people that rejected you that now are on one leg, that it, that's doing bad now, he wants you to turn back and go back to these people so you can build their kingdom back up so they can throw you back on your face again. Don't you do that. When God delivers you from a place, you don't you never go back to it. When God delivers you from a person, don't you ever go back to it. Don't you ever give these people place in your life and you don't give these people an ear. Don't give these people a place in your life because that's all the enemy wants is a place. He wants that opportunity to come in and to destroy you. The people that God has for you, they are going to understand you. They're not going to take you around the wilderness. They're not going to take you around the mulberry bush. 
They're not going to play games with your mind. They're not going to play games with your heart. These people are not going to play games with your heartstrings that God sent you. They're not. God didn't send people in your life. If you're dealing with difficult people like this, God didn't send you these people. God doesn't play games with his children. God doesn't have to allow anything bad to happen to us to give us a blessing. Did you know that? He'll do it if he wants. But this is not how God operates. But he'll do whatever he wants to do. You're going to be misunderstood as God's kids. You are being chosen. You're peculiar. And you're going to be misunderstood. You're light. These people are dark. What fellowship does light have with darkness? Absolutely none. I got to go. I'm going to talk later if it's God's will. Whenever you get that reply from these scammers, I want you to delete that reply. Don't leave it there, family. Please don't leave it. I want you to delete it and continue to report these people. Thank you for your support on our channel. You're going to make it. You are an overcomer. It doesn't matter what form, it won't prosper. It doesn't matter the word curse that people are trying to speak over your life. It doesn't matter what spell that people may spew. It doesn't matter the hex, the jinx. It does not matter what they do, family of God. It's not going to prosper them, but it's going to prosper you in a mighty, mighty way. Your pain has purpose. Your problem has purpose on it. It does. I love you, family. God bless you. Talk later.